and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for patch 112. 112 is now going to be out, at least, well, we know the notes now, so this is our live reaction. It's going to be our first time reading through it and seeing what's up with uh, the new update. So we got Monuments of Power. That's going to be the new expansion that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Right after this, we're going to discuss all of the new cards from Monuments of Power. Uh, but first, let's see what's changing here with Legends of Runeterra. All right, so our Call of the Mountain set, remember the set means the three expansions. The first expansion was also called Call of the Mountain. The second expansion is now coming out, and that, that introduced Targon. The second expansion now coming out is Monuments of Power. So that's going to bring uh, new champions, new cards, and a new card type landmarks. Um, okay, so there are region road extensions. I was wondering if they're going to have region road extensions with it just being such a small expansion. Um, okay. So let's see. So we're going to have 40 total cards, including three champions. Uh, Shivana. Yeah, Shivana, Soraka, and Tom Kench. I'm, I'm still learning the pronunciations. But yeah, Shivana, Soraka, and Tom Kench. Um, so those are going to be our new champions. Okay. Uh... Yeah, and then, yeah, so we'll have the debut of seasonal tournaments, as we talked about before. So that's going to be a dedicated video about that on October 15th. That's going to be in, like, December, right? Like, the the very end of the season before our next, so in, like, two months, the very end of the season before the next expansion, there is going to be a seasonal tournament. Um, so it looks like they'll have some more information about that in just a couple of days on the 15th. All right, so the region roads. Targon's now going to 25. Bilgewater and Demacia now go from 25 to 29. Um, you know, all good stuff. Okay. And so now that the now the 25 through 29 of Freljord and Shadow Isles can just drop any Freljord and Shadow Isles, Shadow Isles stuff. Like, they're no longer anchored to Call of the Mountain. Okay. All right, card updates. Um... Anything here? Okay, patch 113. We're planning to make some adjustments to Lee Sin. So for those of y'all that have been wanting uh, some changes to Lee Sin, which is, has been something that um, that people have been saying quite a bit, uh, you know, here in chat, looks like Lee Sin's going to have some some slight adjustments, you know, in patch 113. So that will be the next one, patch 113. And then patch 114, which is going to be one, so that'll be in two weeks. And then patch 114 and one month ago, one month from now, um, still coming together, but we're planning to focus heavily on champions to make sure they're in a good spot leading to the end. So it looks like maybe patch 114, maybe with focusing on champions, that could be like some champions that don't see very much play. Maybe like your Vladimir's and Katarina's and stuff like that. Maybe they'll get a buff. I could see like some like whatever champions just aren't really seeing too much play in the next month. Maybe they'll start getting a buff. That could happen in patch 114. All right, but let's see what we have. Genevieve Elmhart, 5-4 now instead of a 5-5. Five, five. If you remember, Genevieve Elmhart was originally a 4-4 four, four, and people didn't really play the card and then buffed up to a 5-5 five, five, and then uh, played a whole lot. Um, so now going down to a 5-4. So yeah, slightly less effective for sure. That's a little bit of a downgrade. Um, for Demacia, but Genevieve Helmart is incredibly, incredibly good, and so turning it down to 5-4, I guess makes sense, <laughs> you know, because they, they want her just to be kind of less effective overall. Um, I, yeah, this is probably a correct uh, um, uh, this is probably a, a correct nerf in here. Because, you know, like, we, we frequently talk about Genevieve Elmhart just being another champion, like, whenever you get to play it. You know, like, you can play a deck with, you know, Miss Fortune as a champion and Quinn as a champion and then Genevieve Elmhart as a third champion. Because it's just that impactful of a card. It basically is a six-mana champion. So, um, yeah, that, it, this is a nice balance between the 4-4 four, four where it started, the 5-5 five, five where it was, you know, ending up at 5-4. That's probably a, a nice balance to be. Um, I'm kind of sad because I played Genevieve Elmhart much more than I play against Genevieve Elmhart. So I'm kind of sad myself, just in general, about the change because of that. But it's probably a good change. Like, unlike, like, y'all know that I really didn't like the Warchef's change, and I still don't like the Warchef's change. But this this one, I think, is is much is a much more reasonable change. 
yeah, it was it was a four four immediately, and and not for very long. For just um, for for just like one update, they they boot, boosted up to five five like immediately. All right, Bastion. Um, all right, they didn't get rid of this, but they just made it a four cost spell, so it's still gonna do the plus one plus one and still do the uh, spell shield, but now is going to be just a four cost spell which makes sense i mean you know just like they they bumped up deny from three mana to four mana um you know it's doing too much like you when you compare bastion to uh, a card like prismatic barrier at three mana you get like your you get your barrier at four mana or sorry at three mana maybe you get your spell shield that makes sense but once you add the plus one plus one onto it also and you still get your spell shield, that should not cost three mana. You know, that should bump up to four, like a repost. You know, repost, you get your, your barrier, but then you also get the plus three, plus three. So it makes sense for Bastion. You get your spell shield, but you also get the plus one, plus one. That definitely makes a lot of sense for that to be a four cost spell, not a three cost spell. Um, so yeah, I think that's a that's definitely reasonable. Um, so yeah, definitely not killing Bastion. You know, four four mana does not kill a a protection spell, as we've seen with with Repost, Spirits, Refuge, um, Fury of the North, that kind of stuff. I think Bastion's on par with all those cards, and so I think uh, spending four mana for it makes a lot of sense. So it doesn't kill the card. Um, it's still better. Current Bastion at four mana is still probably better than than old Bastion at three mana. Whenever it was just um, spell shield for one turn this having spell shield that stays on forever and the plus one plus one that's definitely worth an additional mana good change there okay so hush now is just so exactly what we expected it's going to be a two cost card and it's going to silence a unit this round and that's it no more fleeting copies i think this makes a lot of sense so this is so this basically makes it just like purify uh, but purify can uh, purify is a, a permanent fleet or a, a permanent silence, but can only hit followers. And so this is just a, a one round silence, but it can hit champions. And that's so big being able to hit champions. That's so important. So I think that makes sense. The the fleeting copies were just pretty ridiculous with this card of being able to just you know silence multiple things, even with it costing more mana. You know, before it cost more mana, that was certainly ridiculous. But even with it costing more mana, being able to to repeat it, and so like you could silence something, and then even if they have like pump spells, you could just resilence it again. That was just ridiculous. And so I think this makes a lot of sense for Hush to be like this. I don't think it kills the card. I think it's still very playable because it is just two mana now, and it can silence champions, and that's still really important. But I think that this is just a much healthier card to play with and against and and just a just a better not necessarily better as in you know not better as in more powerful but better as in better for the health of the game card and i think it's i think it's nice to have i think it's better than just getting rid of the card altogether i think it's still good to have some answers to champions you know it's good to have answers and it's a good answer but it should be like this the the fleeting part was was not was not healthy um yeah so much much more balanced i like this i like this change so i, I definitely like both of these bastion and hush chain hush changes i'm a little sad on the genevieve elm heart change um but it but like i said it's probably a good change <laughs> so you know three for three on good changes two for three on on am i sad or not um So I should just refresh the site Get for those things. Okay, there we go. There we go. So now that costs four. Now this is two. Silence. All right, so we have Living Legends. All right, Living Legends was completely busted. So let's see. Ten mana says, fill your hand with random fleeting celestial cards. Refill your mana to full. Oh, new Texas refill your mana gems to full. No longer refills your spell mana. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So that that's not much of a change. Okay, so you you just your mana gems. Okay, so that that's like your regular mana. That's your your mana that you spend on units. So you can still play Living Legends, 
for 10 mana, then you get your 10 mana back. You just don't get 13 mana back. You don't get your, your three extra spell mana back as well. So that makes sense. At first, at first, whenever I first read that, I was thinking that you only got the three spell mana, and I was just like, what? Like, how is this card just not playable then? Okay, so yeah, so you, 10 mana, you get your extra, so you always get 10 mana back. So you can't, you know, like, gain mana by playing Living Legends, which you could before. Um, yeah, so... So they're saying, like, that, getting that little extra mana, and there's a lack of Behold requirement with Living Legends. Um, okay. I think that's a perfectly fine change. I think this that's a good change. Um, Living Legends already is incredibly busted. It's still incredibly good. It, yeah, I think that's um, that's just a good change in general. Unnecessary for that extra three mana. Makes Living Legends a little bit worse. It does. But that's all right. You know, like when you're casting Living Legends, you're already, um, you know, living the legend. You're already doing great. Yeah, so that's that's the changes. Um, so no Bilgewater burn changes at all yeah i thought that i thought that um i thought that they were going to be changing something in bilgewater burn but i guess not so it looks like that's it then it goes to lab so that's that's surprising i thought that something in bilgewater noxus would be hit but no it's just three targon cards and a okay, basically two two targon cards a celestial and a demacia card huh that's yeah that's weird that nothing happened with bilgewater burn a little strange. Um, I guess Bilgewater is getting more cards <laughs> in the new set, so I guess that's that's what's changing with Bilgewater. They get more. They get more support. Um, all right. So Ru yeah, because that's what that's what I heard. That Ruben said that that uh, they were planning on on nerfing some stuff with Bilgewater, but I guess I guess just not immediately. So that's what that's another thing I'd be expecting for patch one one three. Why do I say it like that? One thirteen. Um, Besides adjustments to lease in, it's probably going to be some adjustments to Bilgewater. Um, but that's true. They, maybe they wanted to see how Soraka <clears throat> and Bilgewater burn, you know, like how those um, go back and forth and what those are like. All right, so we've been getting some some new labs. Man, labs are cool. We've been getting some new labs. So a quicker rotation for labs in patch 112 during the first week after the expansion drops. You'll get to try out... Uh, decks built around the new landmarks from Monuments of Power. So yeah, so they'll have some new labs built around where you you know try out these new landmarks before you use like your wild cards and everything for them. Pretty awesome. That's really cool. So six pre con pre constructed decks with landmark cards. Cool. I like it. Um, and then they'll bring back the very first lab with a few changes. Rather than building a deck, choose from a mulligan full of champion cards. Yeah, that one. All right, let's see. We got a new board, the Haunted Grounds. Ooh, a Halloween board. This board's cool. I love it. Look at these Poro sleeves. Halloween Poro. Oh, man, I love it. Love this Halloween board. This is really cool with all these jack-o'-lanterns and stuff. That's cool. All right, we get this cool Inferno drink, Guardian. And we got a Dragon card back. And a boo. That's awesome. And what do we got? Tom Kench. Uh, okay, so that's Leona. That's Tom Kench. And then this is uh, Shivana and Soraka. Is that right? It's probably right. Oh, that's a really insult. Duh. Okay. I was just kind of I was I was kind of just going off the premise that they were just going to have the three new champions, but yeah, that's that's obviously a really soul. Okay. And then that's ship. Wait, so this is Shivana? What are you What are y'all saying? This is Diana. They already have Diana already has an emote, so I don't think it's Diana. It's Soraka. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I said Soraka. So why, why are y'all saying? Oh, okay. I just have to scroll down. Okay. All right. So yeah. So that's a really soul. That's Soraka, Leona, and Tom Kench. All right. So we got some bundles. We got the harrowing bundles. So you can get the that haunted grounds board and the boo card back. Cool. 
emotes of power bundle for 570. Grab all four monuments of power emotes. Monuments of power emotes. That's going to be down here. And then some deck bundles. All right, so it looks like here we go. This, this is uh, Shivana, Aurelian Soul with Dragons and Fury. Where's the monuments of power emotes? I guess that's. Yeah, like this is like the dragon bundle. Hmm. Oh, I guess I guess these are just that's what it's just talking about these four. Okay. I was thinking like there were gonna be like actual like monuments like like the uh um landmarks, you know, so I was expecting like landmark emotes or something. Okay, it's just talking about these four. Alright, anyway, let's see then expedition, some things kinda change. Alright, ranked does uh you know does reset. So we're gonna have a new rank season, so you'll have new uh, you know, uh, whatever these things are called <laughs> to earn icons, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that will reset. Cool. They changed the Lulu art. That's about it. All right, so some good changes. Definitely really excited for tomorrow for Monuments of Power expansion to be released. We'll be trying out landmarks for the first time tomorrow. Only four card changes. Um, but but all good car changes as we talked about. These are all good changes. Um, so yeah, definitely excited about that. So, all right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, let me know in the comments what you think of these changes. Also, what do you want to see uh, right away? What kind of decks do you want me to build? And you know, we're, we're going to talk about now the uh, about all the cards. Being like, what do you want to see with the new champions? You know, what kind of pairings? All that kind of stuff. What do you want to see on a stream? And I will, you know, let me know. I will build it. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching the uh, patch 112 live reaction and i'll see you for the next video